Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn something about the cabin crew, followed by the little differences between the care cabin crew and air hostess. Also, we will learn about the responsibilities or the duties of the cabin crew. Also, followed by some of the questions and answers which are often asked in the interviews and some of the important requirements. So, let's get started. Myself Anjali Tomar, HR Manager at Air Cruise Aviation Private Limited. So what is a cabin crew? By definition, a cabin crew consisting of flight attendants carry out the instructions which are given by the pilots or the co-pilots outside the cockpit. They are basically the in charge of the safety and comfort of passengers on flight and they also inform the passengers whenever necessary. The male flight attendants are also called hosts while the female ones are referred to as hostels. So what is the difference between cabin crew and air hostess? So there is actually no difference between both the job profiles. They are simply two different words which are used to define the same job profile. An air hostess or cabin crew is tasked with looking after passengers on an aircraft. What are the requirements for a cabin crew? So here are some of the important requirements which you will be required to follow in order to be a cabin crew member. The first is minimum qualification should be 12 pass. Your age should be minimum 18 plus. The female flight attendants need to be at least 5 feet 3 inches to 6 feet 3 inches in height and weight 58 to 70 kgs. Whereas the male flight attendants need to be 5 feet 7 inches to 6 feet 3 inches and weight 68 to 82 kgs. No scars or tattoo visible on face, hands or arms. You should have the basic skills in MS office. You should have a customer oriented approach, a clean professional appearance and healthy constitution. Exceptional communication and presentation skills cool tempered and patient with aptitude in resolving issues. Also, you should have a cabin crew certification or training as per required. You should also understand the duties of your assigned position during flight and at your best. Ensure the satisfaction of passengers by answering questions and offering them assistance whenever required. Also, check cabin before takeoff to ensure compliance to all the safety regulations. You should warmly welcome travelers on board and also help them to their seats whenever necessary. Serve food and beverages and sell products. Give the safety presentation in a well-prepared manner that could be easily understood by all the passengers. Also, monitor the cabin frequently for the entire duration of the flight. Also, you should remain calm and offer assistance to passengers in the event of emergency. Also, prepare accurate reports concerning any significant issue or happenings that might take place during the flight. Now, let us see some of the questions related to the cabin crew jobs. 
A very often asked question is, is swimming necessary for cabin crew? So, when being recruited, no swimming test is done. But however, aspirants are required to learn swimming before they board their first flight. Also, at the time of cabin crew license training, one needs to prove that they are not afraid of water. And if the need so arises, then they can swim well. And also, some of the people often ask that is cabin crew a profession? So, cabin crew job profile is not easy and requires one to be on their toes, work irregular hours, and also have good communication skills. It is an underrated job. Cabin crew members are not there just to serve food and beverages. There's a lot more to it. But their primary job is to tackle emergency situations and also ensure the safety and security of passengers in the aircraft. Do airlines hire married candidates? This is a very concerning topic for most of the married couples out there. So most airlines do not have any return rule regarding marital status. However, some airlines have clauses wherein only unmarried candidates with no children are eligible to apply for a cabin crew post. So it is very airline specific. What are the benefits of cabin crew jobs? So although most cabin crew will tell you that the greatest perk of the job is being able to travel the world, there are other unknown benefits that makes being one worth it. Now, let us see how can you apply for the cabin crew job. So, before applying, you should check all the requirements. You should match all the requirements before applying to the particular job profile. First is directly on airline site. That is, you can check on the official website of the airline regarding all the requirements to your job profile. Or maybe you can connect to the institutes which provide training for the airlines. Also on the job sites and you may also directly walk in interviews. Now let us see something about the time duration required for a cabin crew to be on the flights. The maximum duty hours that can be undertaken by cabin crew is fixed by the DGCA, that is the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. And the maximum duty period is 22 hours in long haul flights. And also as per DGCA, cabin crew shall not undertake any duty between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. local time for two consecutive nights, except once within a period of 168 hours, seven consecutive days. Now, we will see something about the mostly asked interview questions and get you prepared on how to prepare for them. So, how to prepare for cabin crew interview? Know about the job first. As we have discussed earlier, you should thoroughly check all the requirements for your job profile. Then talk to the ones working in a similar field. This can be extremely helpful as you can get a direct insight by talking to the people who are already working in a similar field. Third is fluency is a must. You should often work on your communication skills that will help you largely in being fluent. Multitasking is another quality. It can only add to your job profile. Being friendly, hospitable, and helpful at the same time. These are some of the very good qualities of a cabin crew member. Ready to extend the help. You should be very ready to extend the help to the passenger sitting inside the flight. Also, your body language speaks all about you. 
Now, let us see how many rounds of interview you need to face in general. So, although it differs from airline to airline, however, four rounds can be done, including the personal interview, the GD, that is the group discussion, the written grammar and English test, and the scar check. How much can you earn? It actually depends largely upon airline that you're applying to and also your experience and the job profile. Thank you very much.